Hi viewers, right now I'm in my basement and what you're seeing in front of you is my electric meter. If you're a homeowner like me, you need to do this uh, task each month, meaning you need to read your electric meter and report it to your utility company. Uh, you would need to do this before uh, because you want to avoid a estimated bill. If you don't report your meter reading, the company the electric company will use some kind of some kind of computer algorithm to determine how much your electrical usage is. So when they estimate wrong, you'll be paying extra money in advance that you know you could be you're know, keeping in your own pocket. So just today, I'm going to show you how to read your electrical meter. Okay, let's go over some basics of the meter. Basically, your meter will either have four dials or five. Here are the dials. One, two, three, four, in my case. So some newer mechanical dials might have a fifth one. So it'll be all the way on the left. Uh, when you read a meter, mechanical meter, you read from right to left. So I'm going to tell you again, you read it from right to left, opposite of how you normally read. But you, when you report the number, you would report the number from left to right, the way you would read, okay? So again, when you read the meter, it's gonna go from right to left, and when you report it to your electrical company, it'll be left to right, okay? So the next thing we need to go over is the orientation of the dial. They're either clockwise or counterclockwise. So for the first meter, my dial is clockwise. You can determine this by following the order of the numbers. So we start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so the, it's clockwise. And the next dial, we do the same thing. We follow the 0, 1, 2, 3, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So again, the second one is counterclockwise. And the next one will be opposite of that. It'll be clockwise. And the next one after that will be counterclockwise. So you have clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and counterclockwise. That's the direction you will read the numbers. Okay, so now let's go read the meter numbers. On the bottom of the meter, on the white paper, I've written down the meter reading as it should be reported to your electric company. Let's, let's go one dial at a time and read this meter. So on the first dial, we're gonna go clockwise. Uh, so right now the handle is between the two and the three. When it's between two numbers, you always take the smaller of the numbers. Uh, that's a general rule. So in this case, it's gonna be a two. So let's move to the second meter. In this case, the meter is gonna be counterclockwise. So it's gonna run like this, like opposite of the first one. And look at the number, the handle is right between the five and the six. So again, the general rule is when the handle is between two numbers, you take the smaller one. In this case, it's a five. Let's go on to the third dial. In this case, the dial is between the eight and the nine. So again, we're gonna take the smaller of the numbers, which is eight. Here we go. And now we come to the fourth digit, and I've bolded the numbers, as you can see. Basically, what we need to do in this case is the two numbers right now, what we're looking at is between the 8 and the 7. So right now, it's closer to the 8. When it's closer to the larger number, we need to go back one step and look at the previous number. The previous number was an 8. So that means it has not touched the 0. Uh, once it touches the 0, it means the numbers need to restart for the dial next to on the left. So in this case, this left dial is a seven because this number has not reached the zero yet. Zero usually means 10. Uh, if this hand, the last digit for the eight was much closer to the eight and the third dial on the, on the left was touching zero, then we will make this an eight, okay? So the general rule is if the digits is between two numbers and is very close or touching the larger number, you need to look to the dial to the right of it to determine if it should be a 
eight or seven. In my case, we're gonna go with the lower number because the dial to the right has not reached zero, okay? If it has reached zero, that means the dial that you're currently reading should be the bigger number, okay? So that's it. So this number I'm gonna report to my local electric company and I will get an accurate reading and this will save me money because I won't be paying them extra that, uh, you know, with that money I can be keeping in my pocket. Also, I want to also bring up the, the concern of safety. I personally don't like individuals coming into my house uh, with, you know, going into my house to go to my personal property to check on my electric building. One other concern of mine is when these meter readers come to my house is safety. Uh, the readers in my area, they don't generally provide any a sort of ID to prove who they are. They only have a you know generic uniform that you know you can pick up anywhere. So it's it's a safety concern of mine, and I prefer to read it myself. And I've shown you how to read it yourself. So you can submit the reading to the utility company without having the reading uh, person actually coming into your house. So my final reading is seven eight. So again, if you find my video useful to you, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have some comment, uh, enter the comments below.